Okay, here we are looking at uh, my tweet deck. I've got my tweet deck available as either a standalone app or, as in this case, um, an app that uh, sits inside my Chrome browser. This is the one that sits inside the Chrome browser. As you can see, it's made up of groups of columns here. Each of these columns can be moved around by, by ticking on the um, uh, navigation thing at the top here. Uh, and you can continue to add columns as you wish to. Uh, by clicking the add column there, the add column then allows you to choose which sort of columns you want to. There you can see there's a range of things in there. There's tweets, trends, messages, timelines, activity, and so on and so on and so on. Mine is set up fairly standardly here. Down this first one, down the left hand side here, you can see my timeline uh, and the tweets coming in there. You might have seen a tweet come in there already. Then there's the inbox here, which are the direct messages from people um, that uh, have been sent either to me or sent out. Uh, the next one along is, of course, the vanity column, the one where um, uh, the, all of the times I get mentioned come in. And then um, we have um, the, the search columns here. I could have put, there are some other columns that come in here, but I've kept these as two search columns. One's searching hashtags and, and one's just simply searching a, uh, a search term there. Uh, as you can see, as the um, as the tweets come in, they simply just move down. Uh, you simply scroll up and down through the tweets, and as you can see, it's more or less a never-ending one. As I get to the bottom of the the Twitter list, there, you can see that uh, it just keeps on going. Now, um, as uh, you mouse over each of the tweets here, uh, you can see that um, there are some options appearing. The first arrow here is if you wish to reply to that tweet, you click on the, the reply there and then you simply start to reply to the tweet there. And that if you uh, want to wish to, um, with this second option here, this is the retweet, the retweet column, so you can either choose to retweet straight away or if you want to make some changes to it, to retweet, you can edit it and retweet down the bottom here. You'll see there's a little number, indicates how many characters you've got. This has gone over, so you'd probably, if I was going to retweet that one, I would probably go in there and amend it a little bit. If I wish to add content here to the uh, to the tweet, I can also do that there with those options down the bottom. Uh, this The star option here is the one that lets you um, favorite the tweet and then there are some other options here um, in the um, further options here. So if we wish to, uh, we can see here that we can treat, follow, we can send a direct message, um, put it onto a list, link to the tweet, email a tweet, tweet and do a whole lot of things in there. Now, if we click on the, the particular tweet, you can see that it opens up here and uh, allows you to see the um, uh, the tweet in a larger version. Um, one other thing that uh, that happens too often with, with your tweets is that they form part of a conversation. Um, so in this particular case there, there is a little... A little um, icon there that's got the uh, talking bubble, speech bubble there, so if we click on that one there, that opens that up and you can see the conversation there that I was showing, um, tweeting to uh, Judith here, a link to a thing, so she's tweeted back to me and everything else, so if we want to see the conversation, find out what where that tweet has come from and whatever and other contributions, that's how we do that. So again over here in this one by Christine here, we click on this one, uh, we open that one, that opens up and we get to see the rest of the conversation there uh, on any particular one. So if I want to write a tweet um, uh, from the start, we simply click on the icon up here with the um, uh, the stylized uh, pen there and that, and we simply start to, to, to write in a, um, a tweet. And again, if we wish to add content, we can add um, images from wherever. Uh, we can uh, at the time and indicate and schedule it or we can add add other content and so forth to the tweet and that uh, before we click and send it off. Okay, so that's TweetDeck for you. Um, probably the best way to view and work with your Twitter is a very quick overview, but uh, hopefully you'll be inspired to use it. Okay.